All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting out here in the Freedom Shack. We're getting ready to reload up some 124 grain for the old Atlas Titan there. Man, I can't wait. We're going to be shooting a uh, USPSA and Unlimited Miner, or Limited Miner. I can't remember what all that stuff with my good friend Pops Quest down at the Low Country USPSA competition uh next week so in any case it's going to be a lot of fun i think that's one of the things that i want to do this year is we're going to concentrate on competition shooting either from three gun dmr uspsa which means i'm going to have to go out and get myself a 40 caliber because i'm going to shoot major as opposed to minor you're never going to go anywhere in that case however here's the big deal guys the reason for this video is i want to talk about 2019 it's been a huge year for the second amendment group you and me the supporters of the second amendment but it's also been a huge year for those people who basically take a crap on the Second Amendment on a daily basis. you got to think about these things. These people throw all these laws out there that they possibly can get in an effort to see, oh, it's going to it, it's gonna protect the children. It's going to make people safer by taking our guns away. I had a guy make a comment that says, when they take the guns away from all you crazies, then they can take them away from the criminals. It's going to make the world a much safer place. That's the mindset that we're, we are facing, is these individuals. They don't want gun control. They want guns. They want them away from you and me. And they'll use the example of New Zealand, where they said that people turn in 50,000 firearms, not assault weapons, but firearms into purchase. They spent 50 million U.S. dollars in the what they call the buyback. Because, you know, basically, I think they think that those guns belong to us before we gave them to you. And as you spent your hard-earned money. Well, a certain number of folks didn't turn them in because they didn't think the compensation was worth the crap. And I guarantee it's just like our gun buyback plans over here. Everybody turns in the most junkiest thing they possibly can. Governor Northam up there, what he wants to do is he's put that little grandfather clause in his whole, we're going to make uh, firearms illegal. But if you've already got them, but you've got to register them. How in the world do you expect people to register a firearm when you're going, well, what we're going to do is we're going to make it illegal for you to have them, but you've got to register the ones you have. That is unreal. And then all of a sudden we have somebody who's calling for the National Guard to go in and enforce the laws where the sanctuary cities have decided that we don't feel that this legislation that is uh, representing the state as a whole, no, they're representing this little part up here, Richmond's over here, and that's it. And they have enough votes to enforce or impose an unconstitutional law amongst the entire state. And speaking of sanctuary cities, we've got a couple cities. And the sanctuary cities, the 2A sanctuary thing is catching on, on a nationwide level. And it shows in the state of New Jersey, Phil Murphy, there are a couple areas that are telling you to go skip, go pound sand when it comes to our Second Amendment. Kudos to those folks. And we should help them as best we can. The same thing should go on in New York. Sanctuary cities, sanctuary counties are catching on because people are getting tired of being railroaded when it comes to the legislation. I decided to come out here. I wanted to do some kind of a Christmassy video, but all of a sudden I read a couple articles and I got really, really fired up. And these are the things that really keep me going. We're going to go ahead and try to do a 2A rally here while the RNC is in town in Charlotte. Anybody can help me with that. I'd greatly appreciate it. It'd be a lot of fun for us to just to go down and voice our opinion, walk the streets. We don't have to have strap on a bunch of guns and scare people, but we do need to hold signs and say to sanctuary cities, we are 2A supporters and we will not be railroaded with these ridiculous legislation, legislative laws that are coming out of blue districts. And thank God I live in the state of North Carolina where we hold the House and the Senate, but we've got some kind of the massiveness liberal. He and uh, Northam would be best but bed buddies. And I had somebody mention to me, you know, Northam went to VMI. I think the VMI needs to disown Northam. Guys, 2019 was a great year. We need to keep it up. Just read a thing the other day about California. I think 101 people have been turned down on an ammunition purchase plan after their ammo background check because it's supposed to provide a pr more safe environment and prevent folks from harming each other. whoop de do 101. And in most cases, it was because their name was mispronounced or misspelled or something else. Absolutely ridiculous. But what does it do? It hinders you, the law-abiding citizen, from purchasing ammo to provide for your protection. And again lawsuits. Lawsuits need to be filed. 
you got to think about this. Gun-free zones. If the government says that people can go after manufacturers and sue them for a crime that was commit or for a crime that was committed with a manufacturer's firearm by a criminal, then I believe that those individuals who put up the gun-free zones should be held responsible for your children, my children, and my family's safety when they say, "Oh, you can't have a gun in here." All that does is go, "Hey, fish in a barrel." Ridiculous, and they should be held liable for exactly that. Guys, I hope that 2020 is going to be an amazing year for the Second Amendment group, and I think that things are catching on because people are getting sick of it. Railroaded. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I just want to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm sure we'll do a couple of videos before that. Also, KB32 TAC, I put a couple links on there to some Christmas specials. We've got Primary Arms. We've got Palmetto State Armory. If you guys are going to do any shopping, I'd appreciate it if you roll through that website, KB32TAC.com. Also, the uh, 1 to 8 first focal plane scope with the uh, Raptor. Uh, reticle is on sale now. That's actually in stock. So you guys can go there on KB32 TAC. There's a link that leads you straight over to uh, Primary Arms. All right, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Let's sue the shit out of gun free zones. It's their responsibility to keep us safe and they can't do it. Absolutely ridiculous. Coda Boy 32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. And those people I'm talking about who uphold our constitutional values and would never dream of shooting at an American citizen. It's Code 132. I say that way too many times. I'm fired up, and I hope you are too. Merry Christmas.